amount of time, so I'll be brief. My name is Keimer Davis Clark, Jr. Um, I stand with President Trump and his desire to build a wall across our southern border to protect United States citizens from illegal immigration, human trafficking, and illegal drugs. I stand with President Trump and his pro-life agenda, and I think it's time that the legislature creates definite definition for when life begins so that abortion can be defined for what it truly is. I stand for the Second Amendment, the rights of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. I stand and will continue the Third District's long history of support for our military. My name is Kyle Clark. Tough enough to stand in your Mr. If you were elected to the United States Congress as a Republican, you would be entering as a member of the minority party. What issues do you feel hold the most promise to getting something accomplished in a divided house? I don't think we need to deviate from what the president wants to pass. He is steadfast on a wall. I'm steadfast on a wall. We have a minority. The 115th Congress dropped the ball when they had a majority in both parties. I don't think we need to stop pushing for the wall because it's what the people of the United States want, and that's what they want President Trump to accomplish. The others up here, I believe the Republican Party should rally and stand with the President. But I do have one uh, issue with it. I wish he would tweet less. Uh, I know that sounds funny, but I wish the president would use Twitter less. If uh, in the art of the deal, you keep your cards close to the vest, and showing your cards to your opponent too soon uh, puts a snag in your opportunities for closing the deal. So uh, I'm not a fan of Twitter. I wish he would use it less. I'm going to support him on everything. It's truly sad what's happened to the North Carolina fisheries. Um, being from Moorhead City, I've seen the slow and agonizing death of the Menhaden industry. Uh, there's no shortage of Menhaden. And Moorhead City used to be loaded, and Beaufort used to be loaded with processing plants. The Menhaden haven't gone away, but the fishermen were regulated out of the business. Um, I've been a scuba diver since 1982, and there were times you could go a whole summer without seeing a shark. Now you can't go five minutes without seeing ten. So there's no shortage of sharks, but the sharks are banned from being long-eyed. These kind of things are a travesty. Uh, the, the resources are here. North Carolina can benefit and has benefited in the past from these. Uh, and I'm a firm believer that human beings uh, are not subject to animals. I don't say we abuse the animal kingdom, but we don't serve them. They serve us. So regulations need to be eased and backed off for the North Carolina fishing, and that's that's a that's a must. We have methods of legal 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 immigration in this country. They work. They've worked for hundreds of years. Um, they've worked for just about everybody in this room. You know, at some point in time, your family came here, and they entered probably legally. Uh, have worked and used our immigration system. It works. So. Is a vast continuation of what's already been said. Support and defend this country against illegal immigration. Not because we're a bunch of big meanies or bullies, but because we have laws and they have to be upheld. That's how you maintain order. And uh, the wall is the, is the easiest place to start. And uh, I can't disagree with anything that's been said. And save a little time, I'll cut myself off. The future of Obamacare is again getting called into question, both legally and politically. What do you think should happen to the future of Obamacare? And where does that lead Medicaid? You always sound like a bully when you are against socialized medicine. But I'm against it because it's inefficient and ineffective. Uh, personally, my uh, health insurance costs doubled overnight from my private insurer to the Obamacare demands uh, just with the stroke of their pen. So I believe it needs to be repealed and I don't see anywhere in the Constitution 
that the United States government is responsible to provide health care. That sounds mean, that sounds bullish, but it's not there. Socialized health care is not a right that the government is going to be required to supply to its people. There are uh, open market or, uh, economies, ours, that it can, I'm sorry, that we can, uh, it can be done, and we don't have time to discuss it, but Obamacare is an absolute debacle, and something else, it needs to be removed. The next question, the third district now includes a substantial portion of the state's coastline, and the issue of energy exploration continues to create debate in the region. As a member of Congress, what position would you take on opening areas off the northern, northeastern coast for energy exploration? I'm glad you asked this question because I have been researching this very thing. And right now, uh, we're looking at probably four to five years before there's any possibility of that even coming to fruition. We're not even within a two to three year window of leases, uh, the offshore leases uh, being sold. So uh, the, the offshore leases will, will happen. The Treasury wants the money. Whether a drill bit ever touches the bottom of the ocean or not, the leases will happen and they're still two to three years out. So it's, it's a distraction. The 116th Congress will not be dealing with offshore drilling. So we need to focus on the wall and the things that we can uh, take care of and support the President. And offshore drilling is not something that the 116th Congress is going to be dealing with. Pronounced it when we start. But it is indeed pronounced kind. So uh, just to toss that at you so you can see if you can recognize it when you're at the ballot. Um, but your, the significance of this election is that your vote is going to carry more weight than probably in any other election. It's going to be very low turnout. It's a special election. So you being here and you learning about the candidates is, is special. And it's wonderful that you have that strength and that tenacity to sit here all night. And I appreciate it. And the 115th Congress dropped the ball. We had the majority of the House. And President Trump needs the support of the Republicans in Congress. I am the man who will support President Trump. Kyra Clark, tough enough to stand with Trump.